All right, we're back and happy to be joined by one of the top prospects in the 2024 NFL Draft, Roma Dunze. What a time it is right now for you, man. Listen, every single year draft scouts are looking for player comparisons. I, there's been crazy ones for you. I mean, legends, Larry Fitzgerald, right. Jamar Chase. Is there anybody that you are trying to model your game after a little bit? You know, it's such an honor to be mentioned up with some of those guys, you know, the greats, and that are some of them, you know, still doing great things. So it, it's a tremendous honor. But I like to... I like to pick apart my game and, and look at my game in different aspects, like relative to receivers in the league. So my releases, I like to right. look at Devontae Adams. My, of my uh, you know contested catch, I like to be the Julio. My route running, the Keenan Allen. So um, I try and like spread it apart like that. I want to ask you about the contested catches because mm -hmm. I, I do the draft at NBC. I watch everybody over the summer, and, and you were great. The size, yeah. the speed, that offense was clicking with you and Mike and, and Jalen and everybody in that offense. But this year, the contested catches were out of this world. Right. I mean, you unlocked a level, a totally different level. What did you do to find that part of your game? Oh, man, it's something I've been working on for a while. I think that was a part of my game that I've been, you know, uh, wanted to show off, and I feel like I had the capability to do yeah. so. And this year, it kind of just unloaded, unloaded um, like, at, at a high level, um, just the opportunities right. that I got. But it was just the work in the off season, building that connection with Mike. Um, I used to, it, this was like my sophomore, junior year, that I did stuff with the basketball team, like doing rebounding and stuff. Okay. Uh, yeah, uh, shout out to Coach uh, Conroy and Coach Adams for, for hooking that up for me. But yeah, it was a lot of different work, just using bags and different, you know, drills to try and um, elevate it. But, you know, the biggest thing was just building that connection with Mike and that trust and, you know, in those moments, just being ready to shine. Talking about rehab, you're talking about off season, talking about all the prep that you do. So this is crazy. I don't know if people realize this. So you get a collapsed lung and a fractured rib against Arizona September 30th. You literally right. aren't allowed to get on the plane <laughs> to fly back to <laughs> Washington. Nuts, right. So you drive back two weeks later, a hundred yeah. like this guy <laughs> who knows when this guy's come back. Turns out two weeks later, 128 yards, two touchdowns against Oregon. Yeah. Talk to me about I mean, like, have you just been blessed with some amazing ability to recover quickly, or is this rehab? <laughs> pain tolerance? Like, yeah. yeah, pain yeah, tolerance. Maybe. What is it? What maybe, is it? Yeah, maybe a little bit of that. I, I you know, I, I pride myself on being being a, a tough physical player. You know, that's that's part of the game. I think what makes the game awesome is you know people play through injuries, and and uh, regardless of what what you're feeling, you go out there for your teammates, for your brothers, and you compete. And you know, that was my mindset going into it. My favorite superhero growing up was Wolverine, so maybe he's giving there me that you, right. Right. Uh, there you, go. you know yeah, ability. But, <laughs> but yeah, so. You know, it, it it just it just worked out. I, I felt you know comfortable enough to, to get it done, and it was against the, the you know the team down south, and we don't like them, so I had to you know take muster care of up some, some some again more curves. Yeah, yeah. Again. again, yeah, that's right. We're seeing more and more rookie wide receivers come into the league and dominate. I mean, years ago, guys would sit for a year, guys yeah, would be sure. slowly acclimated. Now you have pure superstars. We had Puka Nakua on earlier, yeah. but it's not just Puka. I mean, we've seen it with Jamar Chase on and on and on. Why do you think that is that guys like you and these guys are coming in and they're going through the draft process and they're just ready to roll out of the right. gate? Well, I think it's credit to all those who came before us. You know, the Julio Jones, the you know, the the, the Randy Mosses and the and the um, the uh, Odell Beckham's who've kind of inspired you know the younger yeah. the younger generations to, to go get it and that you know it, it's possible to to, to go have in the league and have that success right now. And I think you know when you have those models in the league and the, especially the league becoming more of a you know a pass friendly league and you know um, all the highlights that you see on, on on social media, it kind of inspires you and 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 to to, to work on your craft and to work on the art that it is so um I, I would credit it to the guys that came before us no i mean you talked about like in terms of you know you want your catch rate to be this guy and that you you try to pattern your game after a bunch of different guys but just as a kid growing up who was your favorite wide receiver like who was who's the guy that you had the poster on in your, in your kids in your room you know <laughs> well I was a big fan of Devin Hester. You know, he was sure. more, more known of a, a, as a punt return specialist and a kick return specialist, but he was a wide receiver. I, I tried to model my game after him, and that's why I, I like running with the uh, after the catch so much because yeah. that's yeah. kind of like reminds me of you know the clips I used to watch of him. So I would say him. Um, you know, he, he uh, he's he, a legend. He, he was yeah. a legend, and, yeah. and he just gone to the Hall of Fame, which I was so excited to see. I think he should have been in there a long, long time ago, but it was awesome. You and Michael Penix, special connection. And I think what some people missed was everybody saw it this year because you guys were in the national title right. game. But the year before that, it was the same thing. You yeah. guys were firing all cylinders. 
What is that connection like? And now that both of you are going to be going into the league at the same time, it's awesome. It's awesome, and it's, it was it was an incredible journey to be able to build that up. And you know, um, especially you know us coming together. I mean, we were four and eight. He was coming off of like injuries and stuff. Right. So you know, for us to come together, we were just hungry and we were ready to grind. And I think that created an attitude um, within the facility and uh, around all of us that we were ready to go get it and uh, created a, a starvation mindset that you know it was it was us against everybody. And and to build that connection with him, you know, coming coming out of the mud. Like like that it was it was special and going into the draft together I'm super happy for him um, you know super super excited to see what so where we'll both land and um, super excited to see what will happen in the future maybe one day you know he'll be he'll be passing me pass me the rock once again so selfish question for me so I have an 18 year old son he's a freshman at Alabama okay and I'm like wait you go to Alabama and Saban retires what are you doing but now all of a sudden gets a brand new coach right what what does my son and all the Alabama fans have to look forward to in coach oh man they got a lot to look forward to uh, you know coach DeBoer and and the way you know his, his staff operates it's it's second to none and you know his, his camaraderie his ability to get to get the team going you know his, his mind regarding schemes and and uh, making sure everything off the field is taken care of as well it's it's amazing and I'm super grateful I was super grateful to have him at Washington and be under his staff and learn so much from him you know it, he's just a, a great football coach but more than anything he's just a great man give me one thing he, he taught you one thing specific that you remember that um I would say I would say the the connections I mean and the the networking that he has like when he came to Washington, it was like he picked he picked you know a bunch of different pieces to create the staff who was so amazing and and the connections that they already had like when they entered the building is like they almost had a, a chemistry already. So I think the way that he treats people, you know, and the way that um, uh, he goes about about his business, it's very respectful and very genuine. And I think you know the people that get to interact with him and go along this journey with him um, uh, c connect with that. So you're here with Sharpie today. Shout out to them. Very yeah, nice absolutely. setting us up right away. What do you got going on with them today? Yeah, so they got me out here. I'm super excited. I'm partnering with them. They got this new S gel pen, and you know they're partnering with, partnering with me. Just you know through my through my rookie year. Just when I sign my contract, I'll, I'll be signing it with Sharpie, um, and it's super exciting. You know, the, I like to, to to take notes on, on the game and to have a, a pen like this, and to have you know Sharpie Sharpies at hand to be able to have no smear, no smudge, no bleed on my paper. Like it makes everything crisp, makes everything um, exactly how I want it to be, and I'm I'm a I'm kind of a OCD about all those things, so Sharpie provides all the things I need. With the talent you have, everybody's going to want an autograph with one of those Sharpies from you. Roma Dunze, one of the best prospects in this year's NFL Draft. Thanks so much for stopping by, of man. Course, we appreciate man. Thank you having me. Hey, it's Matthew Berry from NBCSports.com and RotorWorld.com, and I want to thank you so much for watching whatever it is you just watched, or if nothing else, being too lazy to click out of the autoplay after this video started, after whatever it is you actually wanted to watch finished. But now that you're here, I'd like to take a moment here to ask you respectfully, respectfully now, okay? I'm asking you respectfully to subscribe to the NFL on NBC YouTube channel. You'll get the latest Roto World fantasy news headlines, all sorts of great shows, including my own fantasy football happy hour. So go subscribe now. Again, I'm asking respectfully.